Hey everybody, today we're going to pull apart the gas gauge on the 1930 Model A. It was leaking pretty good and it wasn't reading, so obviously the cork is probably gone on it and it seems like the cork gaskets are probably shot. So we got a rebuild kit, we'll take it apart and see what everything looks like. Yeah. All right, there is trash. So we'll change it out. I'm gonna put new gaskets on it and the new glass sight eye, and move on from there. Hopefully that works. All right, here's everything pulled out and laid out. We got our new stuff, our new rebuild kit. And I literally just squeezed the cork and it just started to disintegrate. So we will go ahead and get that off. And we're going to take this apart and replace the gaskets in there also. And we'll get this all put back together. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Alright, we got everything back together. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this thing back in there. And get the, the cork gasket in there. And I did find the old cork gasket that was still in there. So I'll make sure that's cleared out. That way you don't have too much in there. Now the reason why a lot of these cork floats on these disintegrate over time is because the alcohol and the fuel nowadays so uh, these new neoprene uh, floats really kind of withstand that uh, make sure you're getting it in the right way sometimes you gotta jiggle it past there especially because we got about a half a tank of fuel so you can see it's already starting to read. There we go. Alright, so now we're against that cork gasket. Got my other little gasket here. It's gonna go on the, the outside. Go ahead and start this ring back on there. You may have seen some of the little tools that were that I was using when I was replacing the, the sight glass and all that stuff. Uh, you can get them at any of the vendors. Everybody has them, so uh, they're specifically for the, the gas gauge and taking that all apart. It's a lot easier than getting a pair of channel locks in there. I'm using this square peg, it helps you keep your actual gauge straight. So, because when you start 
tightening this up, it's gonna wanna turn everything else in there. So that's why I am holding this in there. So that way I can keep that straight and level. Right. 